Hello students, today we are going to look at elements of a story. Elements means most important parts and a story is a combination of different parts. Now let's get started and have a look at the elements. We have four different elements. We can have more than these elements but these are the four basic and most essential. First setting, characters, plot, conflict. What is a setting? Well, setting is a thing which describes when and where a story takes place. Okay, you can now think of the two stories which we have read earlier, A Friendly Mongoose and A Tale of Two Birds. And in both of the story, we have the setting. We know where the story takes place and when. Okay, in a, in a, if we take if you refer to the a friendly mongoose, then the story take place back in India when uh, India was not under what is it British colonies, all right? Were not under British uh, power. And where did it take place? It take place in a village, all right? And that village, their house was isolated, and they have farms all around them. So. It tells us more about the setting it can create an image we can pictureize something in our mind with the help of setting sometimes it can also help us set tone tone mean emotion or mood of the story suppose I said that um, it was all dark and there were no light but there were far away there was one street light which was flickering going on and off on and off on and off now these images when these images comes into your mind what happened it sets a tone right the tone what 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 was the emotion i'm sure it was not happy emotion all right it was not a good tone rather it was kind of scary or like something bad is going to happen so this setting helps us to create image and mood into the mind on the right, details can be described like day of, time of day, time of year, time of history, time in history, scenery, weather, location, all these things. Now, we need to use our five senses in order to describe the setting. We have sight, smell, taste, feel, and sound. Out of these five, three are very important. Sight, feel, and sound sight is important because eyes are very powerful if compared with all the other senses okay it can pictureize many things and it has greater appeal greater attraction in towards our mind and then feeling we can also feel things right if it is cold we, i can feel cold if it is hot i can feel the warm and the last one sound it's very easy to hear sound Right now, what are you doing? You are looking at the presentation. You are hearing my voice. You are using sound. Maybe you can feel something. But smell and taste are quite different, right? It's not that difficult, but you can also use it. If suppose a character is eating something, you can use taste and smell during that time. Now let's take a look uh, at how setting can create an image in your mind. On the right side, we have a picture. On the left, we have their description. The castle was beside the water. When somebody reads this, an image comes into their mind that there is a castle. What kind of castle? We don't know. And where was this castle located? It's just next to a water. Okay, it's a water body is there. The water body is there. It can be an ocean, it can be a sea, it doesn't matter. Or you can mention it like the waves crash loudly against the shoreline. Now you can hear some sound of heavy waters, all right? The fog lifted lightly at the medieval castle came into view. Now you can see the image, you can pictureize that the fox is slowly moving away. It was a beautiful sight. The frog brushed my, brushed my face. Now you can feel that, a f that fog is touching your face and you could smell the smoke from the fire in the distance 
and the taste and taste the sea salt on my lips so he tried to use all the five senses here in this sentence right in this not just one sentence in this paragraph so in this way you can come up and make a better image in readers mind i hope you understand it now next one after setting is character what is character every story needs characters characters can be people animals or creature oh frank einstein now what is protagonist protagonist is the good guy in the story we call them protagonist or normally we call them hero which is a very common word but protagonist is a language word so it's better if you know the word and for villain we use antagonist antagonist is the bad guy or force okay so now as we discussed about character traits earlier i ask you how what are the traits of characters right so now these are the uh, descriptive adjectives these are adjective because this tell us more about the character now if somebody is honest light-hearted leader expert brave conceited mischievous demanding i want you to pause the video and then look at all these words because when you look at these you get an idea of how to describe a character all right how to find our character straight suppose i say that uh, um, okay if i say that uh, the man all right is quite happy then i need some uh, detailed support which can help me to prove this idea right it's not just saying that he's happy i need some support from the text from the story itself okay then comes plot plot means a series of event the event that take place in story now what is event event means an activity or an action which is happening for example once upon a time there was a king he was rich he was healthy but he was lazy so one day while he was laying in his bed comfortably he heard a knock at the door suddenly he got up from his bed he put on his slippers and then went straight towards the door he pulled that door and saw a beggar when he looked at him closely he realized that the beggar was his friend the beggar cried in front of him and asked for help now in this um, short paragraph what you can see is there are some actions some events taking place first event was he was in his bed the king was in his bed second activity he moved to the door he opened the door he saw his friend right so these two events are closely linked together and we call that plot now when we have a series when we have a number of events like this then it becomes plot right and a plot usually has a rising action all right which leads to conflict and then it has also a falling action now because i told you about conflict what is conflict conflict is the battle between two forces it's the fight between two forces conflict isn't always bad okay problem should not be always bad sometimes problems help you to grow and learn something now a conflict without a conflict first of all there cannot be any plot so in order to have a great plot we need a great conflict conflict in simple word means problem now a conflict can be between two characters it can happen between a character and nature character and society character self and character and technology so in this way you can compose your own story now i shall send you 
a set of pictures and I want you to observe the pictures very carefully and after that use all the four elements which we have discussed now and compose a very short story in like 150 to 200 words so now let's get re uh, a quick recap what did we learn we learned four things all right we learned the elements four elements elements means basic part what were the four elements setting which describes when and where the story take place characters without which we cannot have a story plot which means a series a number of events connected together a number of actions connected with one another and the last one conflict conflict means problem and who will solve the problem the characters will solve the problem and normally the protagonist the good guy solve this problem okay so i hope you understand it and thank you for listening to this